editing to do a little intro video. Please forgive the audio in this video. I have never videoed with my new exhaust. I have put three and a half inch Flowmasters and tailpipe on it. And it is so loud and rumbly, the speaker can't pick it up. It just sounds like I don't know what. But uh, I've already deleted a bunch of video where I was trying to video my cars running. I'll do better next time. Try to overlook that and enjoy what video you can and uh, still picks. But uh, I'll switch to three and a half inch exhaust and Flowmasters and the camera don't like it. So next time I'll shut the car off. No more trying to drive in video. Sorry. This is Donnie Lewis again. Rat rods, two lanes, and neon. It uh, is decent today. It's probably 49 right now, 48. So we're going to get the car out. It has rained the most in the last week it's ever rained in the Ohio Valley. So we don't know where we can get to today. It's flooded everywhere, but we're going to head. We're going to try to find an abandoned nuclear power plant called Marble Hill and just head that direction in Jefferson Clark County take the car out uh, we'll catch you up whenever we find something to look at I don't know 
if you, I think you can see a little bit better up here. We got so many big pieces of vegetation going.
is the concrete tower, the concrete building right there. And there's no building right there. That was actually part of the big cooling tower. And this was some kind of a little building, a guard shack or something sitting over in there. And this was an old loading station. And if you look across the Ohio River, you see the top of a cooling tower and another smokestack. That's in Trimble County, Kentucky, and I believe it's a coal plant. It's not nuclear, is it? Is it coal? Coal, coal plant? And that's across the river in Trimble County, Kentucky. Um, the river is just past the tree line. But that's all that's left. If I can get on the loading dock up here. I wish the cooling tower was still here. But that's the part of the cooling tower. And then you have the little ones over there we showed you. The little green cones on them. Uh, but that concrete rubble is most of the, one of the two big cooling towers. And there was another one to the left back there, I believe. You had to drive down that little road right there. So, Frankenstein feels at home while the nuclear waste is still up here. He's probably eating it up. But, uh... This was called Marble Hill Nuclear Power Plant, and said so it was huge in the day. Cooling towers and the, the just all the there was power lines everywhere, obviously, and all kinds of buildings, and just it was a huge deal in the 70s. And that's pretty much all that's left of the originals. Those few cooling towers and the bottom of the big cooling tower, where the concrete bunker is, and some kind of an old building. But none of this would have been here in the 70s. It was all dead. There was nothing left. It was horrible. We're going to hit the road. And definitely we are on the back roads today. This is the middle of nowhere. Jefferson County. That's the Ohio River over there where those towers there are. And uh, we're going to... I don't know. We may go into Kentucky here in a little bit and look around. But we'll catch you up in a minute.
okay. We are, well, I'm not lost. I've left wherever that Marble Hill is, Jefferson County, Clark County, middle of nowhere, two lanes. Found a gas station. Praise God, didn't run out, it was close. We are now in downtown Madison, on the Ohio. Here's a piece of the original 1929 bridge. Uh, it's called a rocker assembly. I guess it let it move without breaking. And they kept it. And over here behind us is the brand new bridge. And you can see there's a catwalk and you can walk and you can jog. We've been up there, we've walked across it. It's a tremendous thing. I highly recommend it if you're anywhere near downtown Madison, come up here. Very wide uh, catwalk. There's probably a six, six or eight foot separation from the highway. You can walk all the way across it into Kentucky. It's a good thing to do. People are always down here enjoying it. We're going to get out and find some more cool stuff. Catch you up in a minute. Going back together, new quarters been skinned, it's getting ready to go. 
And this is out here in the back roads, and this is why we travel the back roads and do what we do. We'll find some more stuff. garage you can see he's uh, I just got the motor covered up trying to keep so much dust off of it we've put about 180 a little over 180 miles on him today with the power plant going to the college back roads from there to downtown Madison across the river up through by Carrollton Kentucky Back down to Milton, Kentucky, back across the bridge, back up to the hill, out in Jefferson County, Indiana, back roads, found the old 45 Ford truck. You don't want to sell me yet. He, I did leave him my information for contact, if he does. Uh, we're back. So we're going to start editing this together, and I'll get it out with lots of still pics of a uh, neon sign from a Hinkle Burgers in downtown Madison, power plant still pics, uh, everything we found today. But we put uh, 180 plus miles on him, best we can tell. Run like a top. It's been very cool today. He's averaged about 12 miles a gallon because the air is a little better. It's He does do a little better when the air is better. So, Until next time, this is Rat Donnie Lewis for Rat Rods, Two Lanes, and Neon. And remember, drive them.